it's time for me to bring back the anime reviews. You know why? Because I ain't got nothing better to do anyways. Umineko. It's a sequel to a great anime series that I love known as Higarashi. But is it any good? Well, you're gonna at least hear my opinion. The series itself takes place in 1986 on an island called Rakenjima. The head of the family is named Kinzo, and he is near death and his family members are arriving on the island to discuss how his assets will be divided once he has died. As soon as the members arrive, a typhoon hits and they are trapped on the island. And shortly after that, the murders start to happen. This anime shines in terms of music. Just listen to the opening and you'll see what I mean. And the art is another good thing about this series, because you get this dark feel with it. And that's where the positives end. I'm only going to talk about two characters here, which are our main protagonist, Battler, and the witch, Beatrice. Mainly because everybody else pretty much dies over and over again, and pretty damn quickly, too. So much to the point is where we don't see much development, unlike its big bro, Higurashi, where... Almost all the characters got their development at one point or another. Let's talk about the main character, Balor. He's a dumbass. Granted, the scene I'm showing you is pretty funny, but who the fuck would say, LET ME FEEL YOUR TITS to your cousin? He can do the whole Phoenix Wright thing pretty well, though. He's even trying to prove how Beatrice is not a witch, even though she's been proven otherwise the whole series. Overall, this is a character who really needs to give up on what he's trying to prove, because really, it's, it's right in front of him. And that's why he is not a very likable character. Beatrice is actually a pretty decent villain, who has some pretty nice tricks up her sleeve. Every time Battler and Beatrice clash, she's usually the one with the good points, and Battler usually struggles to counterpoint her. I'll admit the first arc was decent, but that was mainly because the other arcs were kind of the same thing. Once the second arc comes around, I began to really not like this show very much because whatever is going to happen in the arc, it just gets interrupted by Beatrice and Battler arguing whether or not the magic is real. And it got pretty annoying after a while. At first I didn't mind it, but then it got to a point where I wanted to punch Battler in the face because the magic is so obviously there. And then we get something weird like the Ava Beatrice and bunny chicks that go commando. And then we have Battler's sister Angie, who is an okay character, but to really talk about her would just be spoiler heaven. The thing that pisses me off the most about this series is that it ended on a cliffhanger, which pisses me off because I watched the whole thing. Although I kind of like the Ava Beatrice because she was freaking psychotic. Overall, Yumineko had potential, but falls flat on its face. The cast you can't really give much a shit about because you don't see them develop at all. Plus, Battler and Beatrice arguing in their room about all the murders and whatnot seemed like an interesting idea, but it became kind of boring after a while. It's a shame, too, because I heard the visual novels that this series is based on was actually pretty good. Overall, I give Yumineko no Naku Korni a 5 out of 10. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go make my own death scene for the main character. <laughs> Shut up, 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 shut up